Okay, Slashaholics, where we left off last time, we had just defeated Jason for the first of three times. Uh, there's three days in this game, and here on Episode 1, Part 2, we're going to actually uh, be starting Day 2, and uh, we're going to kill Jason again. Remember, this is just for fun and to play through the game, so anybody that used to play it can see how the game ends and stuff like that. I am using cheat codes with Game Genie. I'm using JNES, the emulator, to play this game. Uh, here on day two, our obstacles are going to be Mrs. Voorhees, some wolves, and finding our way through the caves. Uh, we're going to have to get a key. I'm not sure if we still have the key from day one. We will check that out. We're going to light some more fireplaces, find some more notes, save some more faceless, horribly nightmare fuel children. No faces. I swear that's scarier than Jason. And we're going to fight Mrs. Voorhees in the cave. Well, Mrs. Voorhees, uh, decaying head. And uh, after we defeat her, we're going to either get a pitchfork or a sweater. And uh, those are going to aid us. Usually if you play the game without a cheat and you got the sweater, it like cuts your damage in half from enemies like the, the zombies that are, you know, so prominent in the Friday the 13th films. Uh, so prominent in the films that they're in the game so much. Uh, but no, the sweater would usually help you um, if you didn't have cheats. Uh, but today, we're going to uh, go in and... Uh, get the sweater anyways, even though we're uh, kind of using some cheats here. Uh, so here we go, let's go fight Mrs. Voorhees and kill Jason on day two. I think we had Mark. Uh, I think that's who we had. Let, let's see. Uh, I can't check my stuff. I'll have to go into a cabin to check it. Yeah, that's who we had. We had Mark. So uh, we're going to go to the, we're going to go in the caves here and see if we can find Mrs. Voorhees here on day two. These caves are so confusing. I don't want to get that because I've got the torch. So if I get in a situation where a weapon pops up, I need to like jump over it and uh, not lose it. So I I'm not sure where to go. This is kind of a, a maze of a mess here. What the heck was that? And, uh, but yeah, there's a cabin here in the, in the, in the caves. And for some reason that's where the developers put Mrs. Voorhees. Because you know, in Friday the 13th Part 2, uh, the cabin is in the cave, right? Not in the woods, in the cave. You would think I'd go to the woods in this game and find the cabin, but no, it's here. Uh, if anybody knows anything, like any secrets in the woods that I'm not privy to, I would love to know if there is any reason to even go into the woods in this game other than fighting wolves or something. Uh, I'm just curious. Or is the... Is the woods just pointless? Maybe there's a... Uh, oh, wow, we're back outside. Maybe in the woods there's a secret in weapon the wood. in the cave here, guys. But yeah, let me know if anybody knows if there's anything in the woods that's worth getting while I'm looking for uh, Mrs. Voorhees' uh, cabin here in the cave. I want to say thank you to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon. I really could not do this channel without you. You are the lifeblood of the channel, and you keep it going. I'm not able to monetize the channel here on YouTube due to copyright reasons with Slash Tracks episodes and the books that I narrate. Uh, all the copyright owners of those get all the ad revenue. So to keep the channel going, I do depend on Patreon and awesome, awesome subscribers that uh, use Patreon to show their support. So anyways, we're playing Faceless Mark here, uh, just burning zombies as we're trying to find the hidden cabin in, in the cave. Uh, we could be here a minute. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to speed this up and uh, pick back up after I'm in or close to the cabin. Hey Slashaholics, do you remember the white wolves that attacked the counselors in Friday the 13th? Yeah, it was in Friday the 13th part 14. You remember that, right? In the caves. The caves of Crystal Lake where the zombies attack. Uh, we're going to lose some children here because uh, Jason's on a killing rampage and I'm still trying to find his mother. Eh, we'll go find the mother real quick, I guess. Oh, we'll, go find, we'll, we'll go save the children. We'll go try to get to the children. If I can find my way out, <laughs> out of the caves. I don't know where I'm going. Well, those kids are probably going to die, folks. That is one thing that can happen, even with the cheats on, because uh, there we go. Let's see where Jason's hiding at with the kids. Okay, I don't think we're going to make it there in time, but we will attempt to get there. At least Mark can move pretty fast, right? 
to see if this is the right way. Yes. I don't know, guys. I, I don't think we're going to make it in time to save the children, but we'll, we'll give it a go, right? Ah. I don't know. This, this is going to really be pushing it. I wish that while I was in the car, in the uh, boat here, that it would let me... Uh... All right, here we go. Oh, wow, there's only one kid left. Oops. We're going to have to stay on top of this even when we're looking for... Uh-oh, here we go. Let's burn Jason up, guys. I'd like to not kill him until we uh, have the sweater. Because I really want to show you guys uh, the fight with uh, Mrs. Voorhees. So we're going to try to get our way back to the cabin now. The cabin in the cave. It's it's going to be... Uh, this is so... It's kind of irritating. Oh no, the kids are... He's attacking the kids again already. Come on, Jason. Give me a break here. Jason. I really don't want to kill him yet. That's the thing. Alright, Jason. need you to run away. I don't want you dead here. I'm actually going to switch to Chrissy. That way I can go back. I'll, I'll come back and get Mark later. But, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't want to uh, kill Jason. And this torch is just putting him away. I'm going to pass the key to her, or to Debbie here, I'm sorry, I said Chrissy. Generic counselor number three. Where is Debbie at? I thought she was in here. Oh, well, let's see if I can uh, pass this to Debbie. Let's see. No, I don't want to pass that. Oops. Oh, well, I guess I can pass the torch to Debbie, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll use this to uh, the little stone to fight Jason for now. No, I don't want to fight Jason yet. Not like that. So we're going to try to get back uh, to uh, the caves. We're going to try to find the cave again. The cabin in the cave, that is. And we're going to have a little fight uh, with Pamela Voorhees. We might lose a couple more kids in the process, but uh, hopefully that'll be all right. I think we just keep going this way. Oh, we found it, guys. Here is the fight with Pamela Voorhees' head. As a kid, I only saw this a couple times, and boy, did it scare the crap out of me. I wanted to have the torch for this fight. We're going to have to beat her with the pebble. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this. This is a real treat. Day number two, if you fight her on day number two and defeat her, you get her sweater, and that'll help you take less damage. So uh, here we go. The good thing is she can't hurt us because we have the cheat, so we're gonna fight her with this with this pebble, I guess. Or I used to think this was uh, this weapon was paper wads, but yeah, there's Pamela Voorhees, everybody. Looks more like Medusa, I know. And uh, you know, in the movie where her head came alive and attacked everybody, so at least at least they're keeping it uh, with the canon of the films uh, by having her head come back alive, like in uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Twenty Two, uh, Pamela's Revenge. This time, it's personal. This counselor will never get ahead in the counselor racket. All right, guys, this is going to take forever fighting with the... Uh, usually what you do is you just dodge out of the attack if you uh, don't have a cheat. Oh, see, I didn't do it quick enough. She comes in so quick. Like that. That would be a good dodge. So it's going to take a while to defeat her, but we will get... There we go. We got it. We got the sweater. We're going to take it. And, uh, yeah, that would protect you. So that was the fight with Pamela Voorhees' head. Maybe on day three we'll see if she comes back. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments section, does Pamela come back every day? Because if so, we'll come back and fight her on day three and see what kind of goodies we get on day three. But to get to day three, now we have to go kill Jason for the second time. And he's going to come back tougher, I bet. Um, so here we go. 
Let's uh, find our way out of the caves here. So you just walk there and it's just, I guess it just happens randomly. So we need to find our way back to Debbie now because Debbie has our torch. I'll see if I can get us a knife or something here. I'm glad they kept the zombies in the game too, you know, because I mean, what Friday, what is Friday the 13th, the movie, without hordes of zombies that are identical, you know? We all know the story, the counselor's coming back from the dead. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can get a knife or something. That, that would be a little better than the, what the paper wads of spitballs we're throwing here. Uh, but we do need to find our way out before Jason kills any more kids. Because uh, that, that will give us a game over. I'm not, I didn't turn on the cheat to protect the children. Alright, here we go. So you can see that he's kind of got this flashy shirt on. It's supposed to be a sweater, but yet he's still just wearing a shirt. Uh, Got to remember where Debbie's at, because we're going to go and we're going to get back our uh, torch. Unless I can get a knife or something on the way. Oh, let's see where Jason's hiding at, guys. He's back at the, He loves that place, doesn't he? Jason just loves going to the lake. At least they're keeping it kind of, uh, oh man, we had a knife there. All right. At least it's keeping it, you know, Jason on the lake. You know, that that's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's go out here to the lake and uh, see what Jason's up to. Oh, swimming zombies. Uh, they, they, got, they got underwater trampolines, if anybody's curious. Uh, that's how they're getting the height they're getting. And don't forget the deadly attacking crows from Friday the 13th, part 29. Alright guys, let's go in here. Hello, faceless nightmare fuel children. I'm going to go fight Jason for you now. Where is he? I, it's so hard to figure out. Oh shit, that actually got me. Okay, yep, I just jumped. He's, he's, he's going to brush my teeth, guys. He's got his toothbrush out. And, uh, alright. Using, the, the, using these paper wads, these little stones, is going to take forever, so uh, we'll have some fun with it. We'll see if we can hunt him down. Uh, let's, let's get out of here and see if we can find him. Hey, it's nighttime. I think if we go into the woods and, and stuff. Oh, there's those deadly crows from Friday the 13th, 29. Jason takes to the skies. What's he throwing at me? Boomerangs or machetes? I'm just going to keep chasing him, guys. This is the way to do it. Just just keep him. Oh, he went in there. Hello, Jason. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, y'all saw that, right? He, did, he couldn't have ran too... Wow, he gets around, guys. He moves fast. I'm going to see if I can get us a knife or something here. No, no, no. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. Let's see, where are we at? Ah, oh, see, this, this one's talking about this map. It takes you in the wrong direction sometimes. And it's so irritating because you don't realize what you're doing. Uh, let's go in here and fight Jason. We'll like the... Nope, this ain't the one of Jason. I guess, I guess I'm going the wrong way again. I was going the wrong way again. Keep an eye on that children count. We've lost two kids since earlier. Hello, faceless Chrissy. I'm not going to jump this time. not going to jump this time. Oh, shit. That actually that got me again. He's got his toothbrush out, folks. Jason Voorhees. He'll fight sex. He'll fight drugs. He'll fight alcohol. And he will fight halitosis. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go find Debbie and see if we can get our uh, torch back. And we'll get to day three a little quicker. See, if you're using a, a weapon that's not like great like this, it takes forever on day two and day three with Jason because he's so much stronger. And he gets even stronger on the third day, trust me. Uh, so I think we're going, let's see if we're going the right direction here. I'm not sure, no. We're about halfway regardless, so we're just going to keep it going this way. Once we pass the mountains in the background, that should have us a little closer. But I, I do apologize that I gave Debbie my weapon. Uh, let's see, is Debbie in one of these? No. If I, could, if I could remember where Debbie was, I'd go get the torch back, and that would be a little quicker for us. But I just can't remember where, I, where Debbie was earlier. 
So we're stuck with the paper wad uh, for now. Is this our uh, next house? Is our house? Uh, here we go. Let's go. F let's, there's Paul. Hi, Paul. Do I, let, let's cure Paul a little bit. He's got uh, what do you got there? You got herpes, uh, chlamydia, uh, gonorrhea. You know, you should really use some protection here at Crystal Lake. Uh, Jason doesn't take too kindly to promiscuous people, uh, so we're going to cure him. Even though it, that's something you can do in the game. Uh, like uh, whenever you're not cheating like the 80 slasher librarian does at these games uh, You can take uh, these little vials of medicine down here. It looks like a red potion from Zelda or something You collect those and uh, all these counselors that Jason is hurting while you're on your way to save them You can cure and get their health built up that way if you die Either by getting killed by Jason who is way hard in this game or falling in a pit in, in the cave uh, that way, whenever you pick another counselor, their energy's not like half gone. And anytime you have some extra stuff, you might want to pass out, you know, some good weapons to each of the counselors. That way, if you die and have to play one of the other ones, you don't start with the uh, rock or stone. Uh, kind of like I gave Debbie the torch. You should try to give uh, every time you collect a good weapon, give it to one of the counselors, and that way, you have to if you have to switch later, uh, you're going to be prepared to fight Jason. Uh, speaking of which, let's uh, get after it with our little flashing uh, sweater that looks like a t-shirt. The same t-shirt we were wearing earlier. Oh, he's got that toothbrush out. I've had some scary dentists before in my life, but good lord. Too bad he don't hand out some gas and stuff before he does his treatment. So let's see if he went this way. Maybe he went the other way. I meant to turn around there and not actually go in the house. Looks like we did. Yeah, we got him. We found him. So we're just going to start shooting. Here he comes. He's bowling. I swear he's throwing boomerangs. He probably went up that path there, but let's see. Yeah, I think I think he went up the path. So we're going to go up the path and see if he's uh, somewhere in this area. I was right. See? You can kind of guess where he's going in the game if you just uh, pay attention so let's see if we can figure out where Debbie's at uh, it won't let me okay come on Jason don't kill all the kids yet I'm, I'm trying to get there to fight you but was this was Debbie in one of these I can't no not that one maybe she's in the one we're going to who knows no nope, just Paul hello Paul Paul don't need cured Oh, he's gonna he's gonna make me jump again. He always did as a kid. <laughs> We're gonna have the eighty slasher heart heart attack over here. The eighty slasher cardiac librarian. Where's Jason at? This faux three D stuff is so irritating. You got these purple walls, uh, just horribly ugly carpet. Well, Paul, I came here to save you, but Jason's nowhere. He's oh, there we go. What is up with him and his toothbrush? Come on, use a new weapon, buddy. Alright, let's see if we can uh, catch Jason outside. I'm gonna go right. Let's see if he went right. Perhaps he did. Nope. So we're gonna go left. Good lord, look at all these zombies on the second day. This game is so irritating if you don't have the cheat codes turned on. Yep, we found him. Oh, he always comes from the other side. I'm stupid. Let's keep following him. Ah, the bird got me. I, I kept chasing him, so we should have caught up with him by now. Sometimes I think he even goes in cabins that nobody's in. So, there's that. Alright, let's go. Let's go find Jason. Ah! See, it's so easy to, to end up going into a cabin by accident. Oh, hey, look, we found him. We're about to go into day three because we almost got him beat, guys. We really do almost got him beat. Yeah, he's going to fight until he dies here. He's not leaving until he's dead. There we go, guys. We did it. Day two is over, but wait. We still haven't defeated Jason? 
And he's even stronger? Did you see his little head move there? Oh man, guys, day two's not over. Or uh, Jason's not dead, day two is over. Sorry about that. Got a little excited. Uh, day three will start soon. I'll be back very soon with more. I'm going to talk to you here for a second. I really enjoyed playing this game today. Day two is a lot of fun. Uh, let's go ahead and pause this here. Um, because, you know, you get to fight Pamela's head, uh, which is actually a pretty cool fight. It's like the Medusa heads from Castlevania. And uh, Jason is a lot stronger on this second day. You know, it does feel a little repetitive at times, especially since what they do on the, as the days, get, you know, the second and third day, is they ramp up more of the same things, more birds, more wolves, more zombies. I didn't see as many weapons. I think I saw the knife pop up a couple times. Uh, usually you'll see pitchforks and stuff by this point. Maybe because I'm cheating. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they, they kind of make Jason... He was already hard on day one. Day two, you saw how long it took. With the stone especially. Uh, it can get very, very irritating and repetitive. But the game is not horrible. It's not as bad as I remember it as a kid. And I'm excited to get into day three where Jason's going to be even harder to beat. The enemies are going to be even more crazy. And uh, once I beat day three, I'm going to attempt to restart that day with a save file and see how far I get without cheating. It's going to be a little bonus for, the, for part three of episode one. Uh, but once we finish day three, he should be gone. But like I said before, please let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying this and if you have any knowledge about if Pamela's head comes back on day three. Can we fight her again on day three? Is she a little bit harder? Does she give a different weapon or a different item? Is there any point in going into the woods? Is there any hidden cabins there? If there is a cabin, what's in it? Is that where you find the pitchfork? Something like that. I'm really curious if anybody has any knowledge about this game that I, I don't. Because I don't know everything about it. I'm just going by what I remember as a kid playing this game. It scared me sometimes, especially like you heard today. Jason popping out of nowhere in those cabins always got me going. Uh, but I'm really enjoying this, and I hope you are too. And I hope you can tell how much I'm enjoying uh, revisiting this game from my childhood. Uh, yeah, let me know, guys, what you thought, if you're enjoying this, and I'll be back very soon with Episode 1, Part 3, as we finish Friday the 13th, the Nintendo Entertainment System video game uh, featuring our anti-hero, Jason Voorhees. Until then, this has been your friendly neighborhood 80 slasher librarian saying thanks for watching, be excellent to each other out there, I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.